Well, take a look at this. Some East Texans were treated to a light show in the sky. Now, these photos you see on your screen were actually sent to us by viewers. Merging solar storms triggered colorful auroras with the pink glow being seen in parts of East Texas. And let's take a look at some other views from other parts of the country. You can see them here. Now this weekend, people as far as south as Florida may catch a glimpse of those northern lights. Ike Jachi breaks down what else we can expect to see when it comes to the solar storm and technology. For the first time in 20 years, a rare but powerful solar storm hitting Earth is producing stunning displays of color across the night skies of the Northern Hemisphere. Known as the Northern Lights, it's typically seen in places like Canada and Greenland and forms due to highly charged particles from the sun interacting with the Earth's magnetosphere. The solar storm, referred to by experts as geomagnetic, could also potentially result in power and communication outages. The reason why it's called geomagnetic is because magnetic fields are involved. And when magnetic fields change, they create electric fields. And those electric fields can accelerate the charged particles that are inside of the conductors in our electronics, in our power lines. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, is warning power plant operators to take the necessary precautions amid potential impacts of the power grid, GPS, and satellite navigation. Colorful skies seen as far south as Florida and Texas. It does have an effect on a natural occurrence that we call the northern lights. So they should be brighter. They should descend to lower latitudes on the, on the planet. The display extending to other countries, including the UK and Italy. The storm is expected to last through the weekend. The best time to look up at the sky is between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. And experts recommend traveling away from the city where the skies are darker at night to get the best view. Ike Jachi, ABC News, New York. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration says while the storm could impact things like the power grid and high frequency radio communications, it's unlikely that it will directly affect cell service.